what's going on guys as you can tell we are mohawk ready for the competition this saturday so like i always do before a competition i'm just going to go through my bag make sure everything's packed up and ready to go i'm ready to go so we need to make sure we have everything with us ready to go so everything in my bag is already kind of already picked packed up except for a few things i have to add to it um, I got on the bag here in front of me because we just got back from camping for a week and I took all my supplements and everything with me. This bag is just literally full of supplements so, and, and empty water bottles from a couple training days. So not everything in this bag is going to go with me. Um, I'm going to try and find a couple funnels or maybe just some bags, little baggies to put stuff in. So I'm going to pull everything out of here and I'm going to tell you what I'm taking with me and what I'm not going to take with me. Grunt, essential amino acids. This is going to definitely have a scoop of this with me um, in a big jug with a bunch of other stuff, probably even two scoops. Breach, not going to go with me. Brain's chain amino acids, not necessary for a competition day, uh, necessary for a non-competition day. So this could be uh, necessary for like the day after the competition, but I'm not going to take it with me. Total War, I'm not going to take Total War with me. I am, however, going to take a Total War RTD with me. I'll drink half of this before the competition starts. Halfway through the day, I'll drink the rest of it. Moab, Moab, not essential to take with me. L-citrulline is for pumps. I don't want to get, get pumped up during competition. Not going with me. 11 Bravo, not going with me. Big noise. Non-stim pump product, not going with me. Glutamine for recovery, two scoops for sure going with me. Tango, I'm going to take this whole tub with me. Um, I need to take a serving of this today, uh, probably two servings of this tomorrow, and then some during the competition as well. So this whole tub is going with me. Warzone, not going with me. And then that's everything that I had packed up in this bag. So, take the water bottles out of here that are empty. I'm gonna throw everything that I'm taking with me back in here. And then I'll just add that into um, some separate containers for later on. So, one more other thing that wasn't in that bag that I'm taking with me, cluster bomb. So this is a carbohydrate product. Um, I normally only like to ever use this on competition days. So I'll have a scoop or two of this throughout the day during the competition. It keeps me from getting hungry. I don't like to eat at the competitions because I don't want to have issues with my stomach. And this is normally a lifesaver for me. Um, for shakers and stuff like that, I'm gonna take two with me. So this is a big hydro jug. I'm gonna take one of these, uh, fill it up with water and ice, and keep it in the cooler all day. And this will have a mixture of uh, grunt, um, the glutamine, um, whatever else I said I was taking, mixed up into this just to keep me hydrated all day. And then I'll have this little shaker, Gila Mix. If you haven't heard of these, these things are amazing. I picked this up like two weeks ago, and I'm drinking out of this all day long. A um, couple other things I'm gonna add into my my kit that I don't have yet is some hydration products. Um, been using Canteen, or there's another product from Ghost, um, the little hydration packets that they have. Uh, I've been drinking those a few every single day, rather than having, you know, pop or anything else. Uh, just to keep myself hydrated. Don't have to buy Gatorades then, and uh, they work very well. All right, we'll get into. Moving this stuff out of the way real quick that I'm not taking and we'll get into the stuff that I am taking and then the stuff that I have to pack up yet. Alright, so this is my big bag that I have for taking the competitions. Go ahead and open it up. And go with all through all my gear that I have nowadays. Alright, so first things first is my shorts. I have gone over to Cerberus and I wear their Strongman compression shorts now. I wear a size 2X, I believe. Yep. 
and probably could even go down one more size. Um, the original ones I bought of these last year were like a 4X and they were that's what they recommended on the site for me and they're way too way too big. So probably we'll get another one eventually in the future. That way I have one pair for um, normal competitions and one pair that I can wear for doing atlas stones. That way I'm always wearing compression shorts and I don't have to worry about having tacky on my shorts all the time. Two pair of shoes I'm going to be wearing during the competition, as always, the Chucks. Uh, those will be wearing for um, probably only for deadlifts and for um, log. Everything else I'm going to be wearing a different shirt. Shoes. I have a shirt in my hand. This is going to be worn for um, log and for hustle felt. Knee sleeves. Um, I don't have a need for my uh, insert sleeves that have the Velcro straps on them for this competition. Those I would use for like squats or for yoke or something like that where I'm going to be carrying something heavy or um, you know need that type of compression onto my knees. So I'm just going to be wearing my Redcon 1 sleeves that are kind of like a SBD or a Ray-Ban sleeve. So only going to be packing those up. Same with my elbows. Um, I'm not doing like a max log or anything like that and I've gotten used to wearing these ones. These also from Redcon 1. Um, like I said, they're like a Ray-Ban sleeve. That type of material. Wrist straps. Nothing special here. They are from also Redcon 1 site. Um, Roll these up so they're put away nicely. I just threw them in here after doing vlog over at Jason's house last weekend. <clears throat> All right, the other shoes that I have, um, I just went with some high top, cheap high tops um, from Walmart. They sell in one brand now, so there's like a basketball shoe. Um, I'll wear these for um, Hustle Felt, Farmers, and probably for the Atlas Stones. Just give me a little bit of lift and um, <clears throat> better for moving events type of thing. Now, if, let's see. The inserts are in here. I'm going to take those out. There's no need to have these with me. Deadlift straps, I switched over to these Cerberus figure eights. I had figure eights already. As you can tell, these are much longer. This is for like doing an axle deadlift. So those can come out. Belt and chalk. Under belt is from Cerberus. I think it's a 2X, it's a 3X. And then uh, the over belt is a beast power gear belt from Amazon. All right, a couple more things real quick. Um, and then we'll get into like recovery stuff. Um, gloves, these will be for the Hustle carry. If they allow them, I'll wear them. I don't know if they will or not. They're just like a wide receiver type of glove. So just help me with gripping. The stones, I believe they are allowing it because they said in a post that the stones are super slippery and they recommend a grip shirt and gloves. So those will be worn um, for grip also. Cerberus is uh, liquid chalk. I'm also gonna take some regular chalk with me and just gotta put a couple more blocks in there. And then Hades um, Hellfire um, Cerberus smelling salts. Um, what else? I know I got more in here. I got some business cards in here because you never know. Mouth guard, okay? I've had this one for a very long time now. Um, I had a couple other new age ones, but I went ahead and ordered me a brand new one that I still have to fit for my mouth. This is for my boy, Spider-Man. He's a big Spider-Man fan, so I still have to get that melted down and fitted for my mouth like you do with mouth guards. Um, 
tacky. I'm taking a lot of tacky because you don't, never know sometimes if someone's going to need it. So I got four different tubs here I'm going to take with me as well as some contractor solvent, which is my favorite thing for removing tacky. And I'll probably just, I bought a cheap, brand new cheap shirt that I'm going to wear for doing stones. I'll probably just take that off and use that to clean myself off, my arms off, and just throw the shirt away. No sense of keeping it. It's going to be ruined. As well as some other shorts, uh, because I don't have two pairs of the server shorts yet. Um, I'm just going to buy, I just bought some cheap uh, shorts from Walmart that I can wear to do that. Let's stones. Now, um, warm up, recovery in between events and stuff like that. I got a few thing, a few different things I'm gonna take with me. One is a resistance band, warming up the shoulders, warming up the back, a bunch of different things to do with this. So this always go goes with me, as well as a trigger point ball. This is just a hard styrofoam ball. Um, works good for getting into those certain places. Really good for my hip to get that feeling good. Um, little foam roller. Also by trigger point, um, just stretching the back out, using whatever I need to do on there. And then this has got to get charged up. I'll do it at the hotel when we get there tomorrow and uh, be good to go with this. Um, I'm only going to take the, the one head to that, but uh, yeah, it's dead, so it needs to get charged up. So I believe that's everything that I got to get loaded up. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a couple minutes to look around, see if there's anything I'm missing. Um, sweat towel. I got a couple of different ones of these. I think this one's been used out in the gym. So I'm probably not going to take this. Why did I smell it? That's weird. <clears throat> but I got a couple of different ones. Um, so I might grab a couple of them or just take that one. Uh, it is what it is. I don't think there's anything else I'm forgetting. Uh, most important thing I had to go do today was get the hair done. So getting everything loaded up tonight. Um, still got to pack all my clothes up and we're getting headed out first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, spend the day over there and uh, yeah, I'll try to post everything as soon as I can after the competition. Um, probably if I have time in between the events, I don't know how smoothly the competition is going to go, whether I'll have time uh, in between events or not of, uh, posting videos or clips up on TikTok of the event as it goes along. So I'm going to cram everything back into this bag and uh, thanks for watching guys. Wish me luck and I uh, appreciate all the support coming back to YouTube here for a little while. So hopefully, hopefully it continues, but yeah, getting, getting pumped up for the, for the show. So uh, catch you guys. Probably won't talk in the, the competition video, but I'll do a recap afterwards. So uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching.